What's up, everybody? This is All Things Beer 510, and today we're bringing you a review from Alvarado Street Brewing. This is Triple Cone. This is a triple IPA brewed with Citra Hops, 10.5% um, ABV, 120 IBU. You know, the Bay Area is known for their, their triple IPA, starting with Pliny the Younger, Fairfield um, Heretics Brewing has Evil 3. Drake's Brewing has a IPA. There's an IPA festival during Beer Week in Hayward at the Bistro. Um, Moonraker has one. Altamont has, a, has one. Like, basically every major Bay Area brewing uh, company has a triple IPA. Um, this is Alvarado Streets. You've seen me review a few of their beers. Um, you know, they're from Salinas. They have a pub in Monterey. They're cranking out hazy IPAs. They have some coffee porters. Um, and just their IPAs, bar none, are some of the best in the Bay Area. I've heard a lot about Triple Cone. This dropped a few weeks ago during Beer Week. I just haven't got a chance to get to it yet. So uh, let's get this open, see what it smells like, see what it tastes like. Um, and I'm going to end my night off with this. Uh, 120 IBU. I haven't had one that high in a very, very long time. So I'm very excited about this one. So yeah, Alvarado Street. I mean, you've heard, you guys have heard of Cellar Maker. You guys have heard of Fieldwork out of Berkeley. You got, you know, there's so many great breweries in the Bay Area right now. But Alvarado Street is uh, becoming one of my favorites, if not um, next to Cellar Maker, maybe my favorite in the Bay Area right now. Let's get a pour. Okay. So triple triple IPA time, triple IPA. Like I said, Pliny the Younger, um, you know, is is one of the Bay Area's biggest and well known beers. And actually, at the Bistro, Moonraker had a triple IPA that just um, knocked off Pliny the Younger in a competition. So excited uh, about that one, and maybe one day I can taste that one on the channel. Uh, let's see what this smells like. Ooh. This smells like, you know, it's, it's brewed with citra. I mean, it's hopped with citra. Um, and it smells like, you know, just big tropical fruits, big or oranges and, and b b big, big, big tropical fruits, uh, passion fruit, um, grapefruit, um, melons. Just it's a, it's a tropical fruit bomb. I mean, um, it doesn't really smell like some your, your prototypical triple IPAs that are really malty and really sweet. I mean, this smells like a juice bomb. 10.5, uh, 120 IBU. I was not anticipating that. And the color is a little different than some triple IPAs that you see. Um, let's get a taste. Oh, man. <laughs> that is one of the smoothest, <laughs> easiest drinking triple IPAs I have ever, ever had. Um, fresh, fresh off the bat, you get this passion fruit, um, fruit salad type of taste on this beer. Orange pills, a um, little bit of bitterness, but for 120 IBU, I mean, it's not really that bitter. I mean, this is hiding it well. This will probably kick my ass later, but I mean, it's very easy drinking. Um, like I said, passion fruits, uh, guava, melons, oranges. There's just a lot of things going on in this beer. Um, and it's just hopped with citra, no other hops. Uh, and it's just, everything meshes well. Um, it's not overly sweet. It's not overly malty. It's not, um, you know, just a, a big malt bomb like some triple IPAs are. They're just a mess. Um, this is just perfect. This is like drinking like a, a double IPA and it's a 10.5% beer. This is, this is crazy. And now that I'm, I, I sip this, and I'm totally wrong, but I'm gonna admit it on camera. I just looked at the side of it. I thought this was just citra. This is also mosaic and galaxy, and citra. So this actually has three hops in this beer. I thought it was just citra. Um, 
wow, um, that's where all these tropical crazy flavors are coming from then. Because this is not tasting. I, when it said citra, I'm like, how can this just be, you know, hopped with citra? But no, it's mosaic. Says it mosaic, galaxy, and citra. Says it right there on the can. Wow. Um, this is outstanding. This is one of my favorite beers um, I've had from them. This is, wow. The <laughs> Triple IPAs, you know. Sometimes, you know, I love them, but they can be really sweet, like just sweet and malty and, you know, a little too much and, and then overly bitter. This is 120 IBU, and I swear to God, this is like barely bitter at all. Um, and then just the hops. Like I said, this is a tropical fruit smoothie. This is everything you would want from an IPA, and this is a triple IPA. Yeah, and then you still get the pininess and the dankness that you would get from a typical, you know, West Coast triple IPA. So that's still, you know, it's still West Coast. It's not no East Coast stuff. It's still West Coast, but it's just, you know, this is perfect. This is this is this is this is a, almost a perfect perfect triple IPA. Um, I wish I could drink this next to the younger because. This is what triple IPA should be. Just juice hot bombs and not, you know, this overly malty, sweet tea type of beer. Um, this is an A beer. If this is on untapped, this would get a 4.5 at least. This is this is really good. Wow. Okay, I'm going to stop raving about this. Alvarado Street, if you're in the Bay Area, Monterey, Salinas area. Stop by my stop by um, Alvarado Street. I mean, they're just they're just pumping out these crazy, crazy IPAs. They're doing a great job. Beer week was tremendous for them. And this is this is really good. And I'll um, be looking for more from them. Actually, they just released two more beers yesterday that um that's sitting waiting for me at Craft Beer and Wine in Alameda. So, um, yeah, until next time, you know, four point five out of five. You guys take care. Peace.